Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. Welcome to our project presentation for subject applied statistics JGD 20402. First thing first, I would like to welcome my lecturer, Madam Rafidah binti Ali, to our presentation. Welcome, Madam. Okay, for your information, we are from University Kuala Lumpur, Malaysian Institute of Industrial Technology. <coughs> okay, now I would like to introduce my myself and also my teammate. My name is Muhammad Aminuddin bin Zaidi and I'll be the first presenter. For the second presenter will be Muhammad Lufti bin Khalid and the third presenter will be Ahmad Faiz Hasif bin Ahmad Farid and the last presenter will be Muhammad Ihtishamuddin bin Muhammad Nur. Okay now let's take a look for our problem statement. For our problem statement is can you make up your own table of random number write down 100 number at random taking value from 0 to 40 Draw up a frequency table to see how many times you wrote down each number. This will be called your observed frequency. If your number really are random, roughly how many of each do you think they are ought to be? They are referred to accepted frequency. Okay, our question is, what model are you using for distribution of accepted frequency? Number two. Do you think you were able to fulfill those assumption when you wrote down the number? Number three, can you think of a way to test whether your number have a similar frequency distribution to what we accept for true random number? And the last question is for analyzing, use one percent and five percent significant. Compare the result. Okay, now I would like to answer question number one. What model are you using for this distribution of accepted frequency? Okay, our model that we use is frequency distribution and data presentation, and also analysis of variance, which is ANOVA. Okay, this is our random data. Our random data uh, we get from Excel uh, that we use formula uh, random between zero to forty. Okay, now I would like to uh, to call my group member. Uh, Muhammad Lufti to continue our presentation. Thank you to Mam Amin. I will continue our presentation from the random data that we get. We decide to construct frequency distribution table for make it more easy. From this table, we will construct three type of graph. That is histogram, frequency polygon. And OGIF. Let's see. For histogram, uh, we use x axis is plus for this, y axis is frequency. And for frequency polygon, we use x axis is midpoint, and y axis for frequency. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Luffy. Now I proceed to the OGIF graph. As we can see, the data shown in the table. We used to make the OGIF graph by using lower boundaries for x axis and cumulative frequency for y axis. This is our OGIF graph. So for the next question, do you think? You were able to fulfill those assumption when you wrote the numbers down. Yes, we are able to fulfill this assumption based on the graph, histogram, frequency polygon, and OGIF that we present it before. So for the next question, can you think of a way to test whether your numbers have a similar frequency distribution? To what we would expect for true random numbers, the answer is yes. Our numbers have a similar frequency distribution to what we would expect for true random number, because based on the graph that we have, especially for our gift, we can see the consistency for that graph. For the next slide, now I would like to invite my colleague to continue our presentation. Okay. Uh... Thank you, Mr. Faiz, for your explanation. Uh, very assalamualaikum and uh, have a very good day. Okay, today I want to present about uh, analyzing use one percent and five percent significant and compare uh, the two results. 
Okay, first of all, this is the data that are calculated by us. Okay, the upper side, which is uh, in the white box, is the class from B, which is 1, 2, 5, 6, 2, 10, and so on. Okay, uh, the dark box is our uh, data one uh, and the white box is the frequency of our data alright uh, for the sum we calculate one by one uh, boundary per boundary for one to five the sum is 14 uh, six to ten is 12 and so on okay for the mean we calculate the sum and divide by 5 which is the data uh, in, the, in the class boundary ok for grand mean for grand mean all the mean that we have calculated we divide by 8 because the <coughs> the sum of class boundary is uh, 8 ok for n the the lower uh, the at the downside is the number of data in each of class boundary. Alright. Okay. For question four, the question that we we have been given is to find the degree of freedom numerator, which is DFN, and degree of freedom denominator, which which is DFD. Okay. The the formula for DFN is K minus 1. K uh, is our class boundary, which is we have 8 class boundary. And the final answer is 7. For DFD, uh, N is the total number of frequency, which, uh, and we have 100 here. So the... Um, <coughs> The okay, for uh, n minus k, which is 100 minus 7. Okay, <coughs> for the critical value, we must find the answer through the table. Okay, in the table, we must find the value of x for 93 <coughs> for 93 but uh, in the table we have only 60 and 120 and 93 is in between these two numbers okay so that we have to do the um, what we call that uh, interpolation uh, formula to find the x for 93 okay for that uh, we have to we have to calculate the answer by using y minus y1 over y2 minus y equal x minus x1 over x2 minus x okay for y our y is 93 y1 is 60 and y2 is 120 and for x1 is 2.95 x is x x2 is uh, 2.79 <coughs> okay after we calculate and the final result for 1% significant is 2.862 okay uh, the calculation is similar with uh, significant 5% we, <coughs> we use interpolation due to uh, 93 uh, the number of 93 is uh, do not have in the table okay for conclusion based on the data the highest frequency that we get is 19 at class boundary 31 to 35 and the lowest frequency is 9 at class boundary 16 to 20 
and based based on the data we use the method frequency distribution and data presentation and analysis of variance which is ANOVA to solve our problem from the data that we get we have uh, we can create all the frequency distribution table and also all the graph and that's all from us